Hey folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today we are going to show you how to charge your customers' items to a house account in QuickBooks Point of Sale, and then find it in QuickBooks Accounting as an invoice gifts call. Or you can jump on over to blackrockbusiness.com and check out some of the tutorials and different tools we have for our customers. But let's get to it. Let's jump right into Point of Sale here and jump to the Make Sale screen. I've seen this used in a liquor store before where there was a VFW or some sort of banquet hall and they would come and pick up a liquor from week to week. They didn't want to pay for it every time, they just wanted to pay for it at the end of the month. So they used a house account to do it. Uh, you also might use this, say, in a garden center where you have um, different landscaping people come by. They just pick up what they need all the time and then maybe they pay off their bill at the end of the month. So I happen to have a greenery and nursery file loaded up here, so we'll just pretend that's what we're doing. All right, first thing, make a sale. We're gonna create a customer that we can use. Uh, we'll do it as a company. We'll say it's uh, 123 Landscaping and you really want to get their pertinent information so you can send out the bill appropriately uh, here we go and email is very important so you can email them the statement or if you want to mail it alrighty now here we are under QuickBooks options, we're going to use this customer with QuickBooks. We're going to give them a charge account. And let's say we'll give them a limit of 5000 All right, sound good. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save on 123 Landscaping. Sure, we'll put them in the rewards program. Why not? That's a different subject. But otherwise, uh, you also have a PO spot here in case maybe you're fulfilling a purchase order that they sent over to you. So here we are, 123 Landscaping came by the store. Uh, they picked up a few things. If I was in a real store, I'd probably be scanning barcodes to ring them up. And we're just gonna add a number of different things to their bill here. Uh, three of these. All right, so we have 257.95 that they're picking up for a landscaping job today. Uh, for payment, we're not gonna do cash, credit check, etc. We're simply gonna hit account and we're going to charge this to their account. There we go. Save. Uh, I would probably save and print normally. You can see a little preview of this. And so when the customer gets done, they'll see their previous account balance on their receipt as well as their current account balance. So they'll kind of have an idea ongoing of what they owe you time to time. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go ahead just for demonstration's sake, and do a second sale to the same company. Just so you can see what it looks like in QuickBooks when people charge multiple things to account, how it comes out on a statement. So they bought a few more things on a different day and they charged it to account, 50 more bucks. Save. At the end of the day, QuickBooks got updated. And then we jump back to QuickBooks you can see it's already there, 5157, because we just updated it. Uh, so now they have two invoices. And let's say it rolls around to the end of the month or end of the week, depending on when you want to send your bills out. On the customer's menu, you will go to Create Statements. And since we're on 123 Landscaping, it thinks we just want to do them. Uh, 123 Landscaping, single customer. You can do it for a certain period. Uh, I would probably do it for all the open transactions as of now. Uh, but you can also exclude, say, uh, charges that were in the last 30 days. Maybe they're not overdue yet. Uh, I have just charged this today, so I want to do all open transactions. And uh, we can take a preview of 123 Landscaping. This is what they would receive. You can either send that in the mail or you can email it from that screen. So it just shows their different invoices and when they're due 
and what receipt they were, <clears throat> and then the total amount due down there. And hopefully they send you a check. Now, if you really want to work this as a well-oiled machine, uh, you would probably have multiple people using house accounts. And so instead of just doing one customer at a time, you would probably do all your customers who have an open statement. When we do all customers and then hit preview, you will see that it's just going to automatically create every single statement that you need to send out. So if I hit next page, we can go ahead and just head right through all the outstanding charges from all the people. It looks like there's three different people that owe us. And you'd be able to print all those out at the same time and send them out. Or go ahead and email them. So there you have it, folks. We have just accomplished charging somebody's house account in QuickBooks Point of Sale. And then over on the accounting side, we can send out statements and make sure we get paid.